I often start my stories with um, a story, if this is starting to work, yeah. Um, and the story starts in the forest. In the middle of the forest, all the animals are coming together because they're kind of worried. And why are they worried? Well, they kind of like eavesdropped with the humans. And when they were eavesdropping on the humans, they found out that human beings should be worried about the future. Because the future is coming and, and what are we going to do with our young? So now the animals will read as well. What are we going to do with our young for the future? But they also eavesdropped with the human beings to find out what they should do about that future. And the solution to prepare your young for that future, that is scary, um, is to send them to school. So the animals to come together and they're going to decide, we're going to start the school of the forest. So. There's this big gathering in the middle of the forest because they're going to decide what's on the curriculum. What should we teach our young? So the deer are saying, well, running, you know, what else than running? Well, the squirrels say, no, climbing and collecting nuts. And then the, the duck, you know, flying and, and, and swimming and the fish are about swimming. And like they're having this massive discussion to have the curriculum. So what do they do? They put everything in. A little bit of running, a little bit of walking, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of gathering nuts. Everything is in there. So after summer, because that's what you do with a school, you start after summer, of course. So after the summer, all the animals come together. You've got like a little deer and a little duck and a little squirrel, and they're all there together, excited to begin the school. So the first topic is running. So deer happy, running along. Squirrel having a hard time keeping up. Duck quite annoyed by now, but they're still doing okay. Next topic is climbing trees. So, squirrel happy going all the way up. Um, well, deer is standing there like, well, this is not going to be my subject. Um, duck gets disqualified because it's climbing lesson, it's not flying lesson. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, he's getting a failing grade. But after a while, some problems start showing up. Because after 20 running lessons, the swimming doesn't go so well for the duck anymore because his feet are starting to hurt. And our squirrel is a little bit traumatized from being thrown in the water every time. And so there, there is some problems in the forest, but no, no worries. So they're really curious at the end of the year, who's going to be the best prepared for the future? So at the end of the year, well, we've got some dropouts, fortunately, but well, that can be helped. And so now we've got the animals wondering who is best prepared for the future. And they find out the best prepared for the future is the weasel because he can run a little bit, he can climb a little bit, he can dig a little bit, he can swim a little bit, he can do everything a little bit. And what more could you want for your young than to have them know a little bit of everything? Could there be a metaphor in this story? <laughs> I found this other cartoon, by the way. Maybe you've seen the picture. <laughs> Not the subtlest version.